Hello, everybody. Welcome back to 5 Minute Gaming News, the show that is, it's somehow still here, mostly thanks to you. Today in the news, can you actually sell your YouTube channel? If you're internet old like me and you've been around since the beginning of YouTube, you remember the big explosion of Minecraft players and how you wish you had gone all in on Minecraft and how you'd probably be a millionaire today, but whatever. And honestly, it's still kind of going on. Minecraft is raking in views still to this day. Well, anyway, one of the biggest names back in the day was Sky Does Minecraft. If you want to kind of get an idea of how popular he was, I remember back at Maker Studios, I went to a meeting and all they did was talk about him, except the meeting was about my channel. But eventually, like the majority of successful video game YouTubers, he moved from gaming content to a more vlog, travel vlog kind of style. Anyway, in an unsurprising twist, a young man suddenly finding himself with millions of dollars, zero life experience, and ego, eventually was outed as being highly abusive earlier this year, not only by former employees, but also by his former partner. I'm not gonna get into detail here, but the allegations and stuff are down below. Since then, Sky, aka Adam, has gone dark, not posting anything on social media. The YouTube channel itself hasn't posted anything for nearly a year. But now, PC Gamer reports that over on FameSwap, a website that I had no idea existed and apparently is a place you can sell YouTube accounts? I have no idea why someone would buy an old YouTube account, but apparently Adam thinks someone might buy his. Sky Does Minecraft and Sky vs. Games appeared on the site about a month ago being sold by Sky Sells Stuff. Start your brand off with a diamond play button. This channel has made over $8 million, over 10 million subscribers, 4 billion views, and will be ready for you to start your brand when purchased. It'll be wiped and ready for new content. Streaming is enabled as well as memberships. Start stronger than anyone with this channel. And all of this can be yours for the low sum of $900,000. Honestly, I don't know why anyone would do this. It, it, you can't just buy brand loyalty. Like I couldn't go to Sky Does Minecraft, take over that channel and it'd be a success. People would be like, who the hell is this? Immediately, it would collapse. I, not to mention that over on YouTube, doing this is just not allowed. It is straight up, I'm pretty sure, against terms of service. But here we are, a website like this exists, and I have no clue. What do you think about this? Would you buy a YouTube account if you could? And if you could, would it be this one? How much would you be willing to pay? Just asking questions, but hoping for answers. <laughs> In other, you know how loot boxes might actually be bad for players and only serve corporate interest news? Well, it looks like loot boxes are back in the news again. This time, Hearthstone is the target of a new lawsuit. Blizzard, like many companies, have come under attack for its loot boxes and, and how it potentially deceives miners into making non-refundable purchases. A similar suit was filed against Overwatch in the past. It was settled in arbitration. In fact, loot boxes have been coming under fire for a while from many places. Countries like Germany even passing laws that if you have have loot boxes in games, you have to rate it 18 plus. Well, the most recent proposed lawsuit revolves around a young girl who spent $300 on Hearthstone card packs, not really understanding the odds of getting good cards or that they weren't refundable. And to add insult to injury, the lawyer says she didn't even get any good cards. The complaint believes minors should have a right to a refund, have odds disclosed publicly, and some kind of parental control. The lawsuit is asking the court to move ahead with a class action lawsuit, which means any minors who have purchased card packs with real money could be included. Epic Games, according to Polygon, settled a similar lawsuit in 2021 after it was sued over the Loot Llama randomized items. The settlement included 26.4 million in refunds and giving credits and V-Bucks to players. So question time for maximum comment engagement. Do you think it is the company's fault or the parent's fault? Should kids be educated about this kind of thing? Or are they just inundated with buy me, buy me, buy me ads? Or if you don't buy, you miss out that it's pretty impossible for parents to combat that advertising that they're getting. I would love to know what you think in the comments below. Please let me know. Speaking of letting you know, there is a lot of great stuff happening over on patreon.com slash Jesse Cox. I would love you check it out. Just like Samuel Dixon, Robert, and Artomsk. Art, 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 um, I hope I said that right. Anyway, that's it for today. Thanks so much. I'll see you tomorrow for another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News.